Congratulations, Professor Allison. Well, thank you very much. And uh, you just received the Nobel Prize. Uh, how was the prize ceremony? That was spectacular. Uh, it was, you know, just the king there, and all the, the presentation ceremony itself was was, was very cool. It made even uh, cooler as the uh, person who awarded the member of the committee, Klaus Schrey, who gave the the cancer one gave ours uh, had a clever way of working a sort of musical story mm. into it with a simple song at first so before their work and then afterwards you know really powerful you know thing. sounds lovely yeah you okay. have made quite a scientific journey you started with pure curiosity mm -hmm. and continued your research all the tricky way to a medicine that now cure people from deadly diseases. That must be such a special privilege. It is. I think it's something that that I think every everybody who does basic science would dream of, you know, doing something and really having it work out to help people. But it's so arduous and the path's so long and you know, then getting it from a finding into a, a drug, you know, or something is, is, is pretty hard. But you know, it was, uh, it was certainly worth it. I mean, it's uh, one thing to have successful experiments and learn something new, and that's worth that's worth a lot to me. It was always, when I was doing science, trying to solve an issue, that was all I was doing. You know, I was got to figure this out, you know. But then at, at one point, you know, every, every now and then I would say, okay, what do we know now? What, how could we use this? And so I'd sort of work, then try to jump, you know, and say, okay, can we use this to treat cancer? You don't have Thought of a thought of a way, thought of the implications of the, of the basic science, and it all worked out. And uh, it has also been important to you to meet with people that got cured by this mm -hmm. treatment, uh, and for them, you're sort of everything. <laughs> what what do they mean to you? Uh, you know, it was several years actually. Well, not several, but it was about four years or so before I met the first patient, and uh, I actually. We become good friends, and, and uh, she was very young. She was 22 when she was diagnosed with metastatic melanoma, and was told she was hospice bound. And now she has two kids that are approaching their teenage years. And, uh, and she's here tonight. She's here tonight. Yes. And uh, I, it was a spiritual moment to me when I first met her. It, it just, I don't know, it just things happened in my head. I thought, wow. This isn't just some product, you know, it's not just numbers on a graph, you know, or mm. anything like that. It's a real person whose life is, you know, she's able to live her life. And uh, so I, I love I love meeting the patients. I kind of get emotional about it sometimes. But, you know, one of the things that I think, that, that I hope that the publicity that accompanies the Nobel Prize will do is, is give keep people hope, you know, so they'll re realize that cancer isn't necessarily, a diagnosis of cancer isn't necessarily a death sentence. And there are things that can be done. And mm -hmm. also I hope it'll help with, get people a volunteer to be in clinical trials so we can keep the work going and, and improve what we're, what we're doing now. So now a big part of the research is done. The medal is in your pocket. Mm -hmm. And now you're gonna enjoy this very Swedish party. Yes. Um, is there anything special that you're looking forward to this evening? I th well, I've heard so many things about it from some of my friends that have been through it, and <laughs> the, the the dinner and how grand it is, and the dancing, and then uh, but everybody says the after party is the really good one. So, <laughs> looking forward to that if I'm still around. <laughs> have a great evening, Professor Allison. Okay, thank you very much.